Hello! In this video, we're going to have a look at how to dynamically create a table using PHP, and to do so, we are going to use nested loops. Now, these are each topics that really could warrant a video of their own, but I feel like the best way to cover this is to cover both of them at once. So This is going to be a somewhat complicated video. You'll notice on the screen right now, you see this little thing I made up for a... This is what an HTML table looks like, generally speaking. So you've got a big set of table tags, opens here, closes here. I put a border of one on it because if you don't have a border, you can't see where the cells are. Um, so that's a table. A table is made up of rows that go like that. There's one row, there's another row. So it, an opening TR tag and a closing TR tag. That's the first row. The second row runs from here to here. And then the individual cells of the table are these TD cells. So they open and they close. So all the tags here are container tags, meaning there's an opening and a closing tag. The table encompasses the table, the TRs encompass the rows, and the TDs encompass the cells themselves. And so that's what you need to know about the HTML. So now let's use nested loops to draw this table. So I'm going to write this thing by scratch. My right hand is in a sling, so this isn't going to be great, but uh, I'll do the best I can. So I open and close my PHP tags. So there's a couple things to think about here. The first one, I'm going to set up my counters. So there's going to be nested loops. In other words, one loop inside of another loop. When you've got two loops, that means you're going to use two counters. I'm going to be going with while loops. A lot of times people use for loops for this, but uh, I'll call my first counter i, and I'll set that to 0. And I'll take my second counter, and I'll set that to 0. So those are my two counters, an i and a j, one for each loop. And so these loops are going to be inside of each other. So let me just kind of set up the structure. We'll, we'll flesh this thing out in a minute here. So I'll say while i is less than, and so this number right here, this number that I enter is going to be the number of rows in the table. So if I want three rows, then I'm going to put a three there. And I'm going to open my curly brace, give myself a little bit of space. Now, if I really want to be explicit with this, I'm going to put an uh, inline comment right there. And I'm going to say, uh, row count. Alright, so that's one part of this. The other part of this is the the inner loop. So it's going to be a loop inside of a loop. And we'll go about filling this thing in in a minute here. Now this is going to be the number of columns, right? So how many cells per row? Let's say I want to do six. Then I'll do six. I'm going to open my curly brace, close my curly brace. If I wanted to put a, an, a comment here, I could say this is the column count. I don't think that's a great idea, but I'm just showing you kind of how this how this plays out. So I've set up my counters, I've set up my loops. If you're watching this video to see what a nested loop looks like, well, it looks kind of like that. Of course, there's the incrementation and such, which is uh, not as trivial. So remember a minute ago when I was talking about what a table looks like, right? So we're going to use this nested loop structure to do something like that. So notice that there's one opening table tag and there's one closing table tag. That's going to happen regardless of how many rows and columns there are. In other words, it's going to be outside of the repetition. So I'm going to put a little echo here and I'm going to echo out an opening table tag, right? So before my loop, I'm telling you, I think you want to set the border to one, not because it's going to look good or because you're going to keep that, but just so, just so you can see the table. All right. So there's my opening table tag down here below my closing parenthesis of the outer loop, I'm going to echo out my closing table tag. Oops, All right, typing, not a strength right now. So I've got an opening table tag and a closing table tag, one before the repetition, one outside of the repetition. So the rows, one of the things I said is this outer loop here does my rows. So how I'm going to handle this is I'm going to go into that while loop, and the first thing I'm going to do is echo out an opening row tag like that. So I open the row there, and the row is going to close at the end of the inner loop. So I'm going to echo out that tag. So now I've got a structure, and so you can see where this row count comes from. So this chunk of code right here, like literally that line and that line, are going to be executed three times because of that condition right there. And so the inner loop, what the inner loop does is it echoes out a TD tag, an opening one, and a closing one, and whatever you want to actually be displayed in the cell would go right there. And so I don't know what I'm going to say. I'll just say hello or something like that. That's going to be the content of the cell. So this is going to spit out three rows. 
and each row is going to have six cells in it, and each cell is going to say hello. That's the recipe for creating a table using PHP. All right, I saved it. So you notice now I have syntax highlighting. So that's the general scheme. Now this last step that I almost forgot to do here was to increment my counters. So when you've got loops, you need to increment the counters. So I'm going to increment J here. Right? J is relative to that inner loop, so I'm going to increment it in the inner loop. And I is relative to the outer loop, so I'm going to increment I in the outer loop. And so notice now um, you might be wondering why my why, why some of my keywords are now blue and some things are gray and some things are green. It's because uh, I took a little break there and I saved the file. Right? I told my my text editor that this is PHP, so the, the PHP got highlighted. It's probably pretty confusing because it looks a little bit different even though I didn't make any changes. So now I'm going to save that and I'm going to open it up in a browser. So we can troubleshoot this and I'll show you what the problem is. It's the same mistake that most people make on their first attempt at doing this. If you view the page source, that might help you a little bit. You can see my table's being opened, it's being closed, that row is being opened, and it's being closed here. But notice that all the other rows are just opening and closing. In other words, there's no TDs inside of them. So let's talk about why that's happening. So this is what does the TDs. So the problem here is that for my first trip through, I get six of them. But the problem is J at some point ends up being equal to six. And that's the, the, so the reason that it breaks out of the first uh, set of iterations through this loop is the same reason that it never even enters this loop the next time. So what needs to happen is this J needs to be reset to zero right there. That is the key in making sure that you have six cells in all the rows. So I save this and I refresh this page. Oh, oops, not that page, that's the source code. This page, and it gets something like that. And you can see that I have six columns and three rows. If you want to play around with that idea, you just manipulate those things right there. Right? So this determines the number of columns, that determines the number of rows. And the, so this is a perfect example of a nested loop. And it's also an interesting example of, of how to create or how to echo out a table in PHP. So just recapping those important parts, for the first while loop, I, I open, I, I, I echo out the opening table tag. I close the table at the end of the repetition. Inside of this first while loop, I, I echo out the opening row tag. I close it after the inside loop. And in the inner loop, I just have opening and closing TD tags. So that's the recipe for creating a table in PHP. And it's also a classic example of nested loops. So thanks for watching.